Hi, welcome to Invictus Motors. We've got Adil. He's here to purchase this Porsche 718 GTS. But actually the story began with Najib, his brother, contacting me about wanting to get a Porsche 911 and he just wanted a bit of advice and potentially to see if we could actually source him a Porsche 911. And I'll just actually just let Najib speak because this video is actually more about you guys, your experience, you, you buying a Porsche, driving a Porsche. So it, it's, it's you as to kind of talk about. So just tell us, tell us about your journey really. So we were looking for um, a 718 GTS. They're quite rare, very specialist cars, hard to come by. Um, we'd had given up on buying a 718 GTS. I had, I had a chat with Bash about um, a 911. Um, and then after that, after that talk, we managed to source this car that we're really looking forward to test driving today. Actually, what I would say is that I started looking at the 718 Cayman. I was looking at a flat for yeah. two litre. And then I actually came across on YouTube one of Bashir's videos and he was reviewing a 718 Cayman S. Yeah. And I said to my brother, saying, look at this guy, he's got a, a 718 and he's saying, this is a really good car. So I was actually saying to him, I was like, you know, we should look at one of these. And then I went and saw uh, an old um, Cayman GTS, the naturally aspirated one, but I wanted something a little bit newer. So then we went back and forth and then just so happened that we came across Bashir and then, um, you know, I, I, I suppose I saw that as a bit of a sign Thank and you. it's and he's been great and he yeah. sources the car and it's beautiful. Yeah, car looks lovely, just as expected, just as described. It's the first time we've seen it. The deal's been done over the phone. So Bash is the top guy, he's trustworthy. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You know, it doesn't happen every day, like for somebody to ring you to say, okay, could you source me that car? And, I appreciate it, you know, when someone does trust you and says, look, go ahead and find me this. And I was very fortunate, I was so lucky. When I had this offered by the Porsche retail group, I was like, this is what you want, how yeah. the hell, I mean, what's going on here? It was just lining up too well. And, and then it was a really good price as well. They weren't asking for like too much and I thought it was going to be a good deal for you yeah, guys. I know, I appreciate Plus, it. something good for my business. So if you guys are out there interested and are serious in me sourcing a car, I think, I know I said a thousand pound like non-refundable yeah. deposit because <laughs> once, once I say yes to it, it's, it's to my name, but you know, uh, it, it's, uh, if, if, if there were issues with the car, if there was something wrong with the car, I'd say, mate, it's not for you guys. Yeah, of course. I'm not going to yeah, fall out with your yeah. grand. Here's your grand yeah, back. That's right, yeah. Um, but I think what we want to do next naturally is just for Adil to drive it. Please. And then once we get back from a test drive with Adil, obviously hear his story, hear what the car's like and give me some feedback on the car. Uh, and then obviously Najib will come in and take it out for another test drive right. with me. Perfect. Uh, so let's get on with it. Oh, that's it. Oh, that's beautiful, that. Um, heated seats. Do you know, my wife yeah. is going to get really cheesed off with the heated steering wheel. Her car, yeah. I said had a heated steering wheel. And when I bought it, I realized it didn't. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice. After a year, she said to me, how do you turn the heated steering wheel on? That, uh, it doesn't have a heated steering oh, wheel. Oh, <laughs> God. She, she, she likes, she, want, she wanted she one with a heated steering yeah. wheel. But she's got this now, hasn't she? So, yeah. so she drives as well? Yeah, yeah, of course she will. Sorry, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you've got kids as well, isn't it? We've got two, yeah. Got they two won't be allowed kids. in it. Yeah. <laughs> this, this, my son, this is I yours. Think, honestly, Bashir, my son, yeah. I, don't, I think he gets it from his uncle, Najib, okay. but he is so excited about oh, wow. getting this car. He's so excited. He's six years old. I don't know why. Wow. I don't even know how he knows what a Porsche is, but he's so excited. Wow. I'm so happy to hear that. Over here, Rian. It's up there. You want to take it home? Yeah. You excited? Yeah, come on then. Let's get you in. Are you looking forward to driving it home? Yes. Why do you want Daddy to have a Porsche? Well, you did look at it first, but... Are you happy? Yeah, but I am happy about you getting a Porsche, but you did... You were looking at it first. <laughs> okay. Well, I liked it when, like, the seats, it moved... It moved, like, the seats... They've got a motion, like it... The seats feel like they're moving backwards. So oh, when Daddy put his foot down on, on the car. Yeah, and then they move backwards because of how fast we're going. Okay. I we weren't speed, breaking the speed limit, though, yeah, were we? we yeah. No, we weren't. 
<laughs> right, do you like this car then? Yeah. Shall we keep it? Yes, because you've already bought it. You just bought it literally yesterday. <laughs> okay. You're happy with the car? Yeah. Yeah. What did he say to Uncle Bashir? Thank you. Okay. Do they, uh, so, do, you know when they do the options, with the, yep. for the cones are standard with Alcantara, right? Do they, they then do upgrade come, yeah. it to leather? Is that what they do or? But I thought the Al Alcantara was the... So the Alcantara and leather is, is just part of the GTS. Yeah. It's part yeah. of the standard GTS package that you get. But you could then like do things like the heated steering wheel, the sports seats, yeah. um, the sports seats plus, the Bose sound system. I didn't even know that the Apple CarPlay is also not standard. Right. And from, from memory, I checked, I think this has Apple CarPlay as well. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Not wireless, you know. Okay, right. Gotta have the I can pair can. it to my phone and yes. things like that. Right, okay, yeah, that's fine. And then, you know, when you want, you can... Open it up a bit. Open it up, right. put your foot down. I drew a drive, like an LTV man, so... Yeah, <laughs> it's okay. It's all right. And if you actually lift your foot off the throttle uh, pedal, yeah. you could use the left pedal shift, drop it two gears. Yeah. Yeah. So whenever you're dropping gears, foot off the throttle, the accelerator. And then? Yeah, right. exactly. If you're in full and you're doing like 30 miles an hour, you can even drop it as far down as oh, right, okay. right. second gear. And if you want to engage, engage with the car, Feel free, you know, right. feel free to express yourself through the car. For off the throttle pedal, drop it a gear, drop it two gears. And then if you want to put it up a gear manually, you can use the right side pedal shift. Or if you just want to leave it at, if you want to leave it as is, it will actually automatically just go back so, in auto yeah. mode. And I think sometimes you see me illustrate that in the video. Yeah. And I kind of do that repetitively. And I'm driving it, I wouldn't say aggressively in any way, form or shape, but I'm just using the tools provided to me. With the car, yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. It's so, so good to hear, yeah. honestly. So beautiful. And I'm, I'm so glad that, you know, you found the motivation and the courage and I, I think I know you said you're 44, am I right? No, I'm not 44, I'm yeah. 40, I just don't you're 40. say yet. Sorry. Yeah. And your brother is? He's 43, is he 44? No, I think he's 44 now. Yeah, 44 he's 44. Now. Okay, he's, yeah. so he's older, yeah? He's older, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I confused the age oh, between you two. No, it's a, to be honest with you, I think we get it from our dad. I mean, my dad was a, he worked in a takeaway, you know, yeah. We were small, he worked to take away all the way until he retired. It's a hard life and I think he just, you know, I told him that, you look dad, I'm going to buy a Porsche. And he's never been so, you know, he's never been so happy. Um, wow. And he, t he takes great pride, doesn't he? And when he, he sees his, his children, you know, just bettering themselves, isn't it? Wow. Not with the cars, just yeah, generally. Just life. Yeah, just life, isn't it? Kids getting you married, know, having your own roof this over is your it. head. Yeah, of course, of course. I mean, that's what every father wants, isn't it? every parent wants that. I'm so glad that I get to play a role, that, you know, we as a business get to play a role in that uh, experience. Yeah, no, I, I, and I appreciate it. And w w what attracted you to Porsche? What sort of, what was the thing that kind of said, look, I want to get myself a Porsche? And then obviously, later down the line, you were like a 718 GTS. And I mean, you know, I'll be honest with you, Bashir, I think it's a case of, you know, you work, you worked really hard. And I think my wife, she said, you know, I, the few things that I did and my wife said, look, you know what is, uh, I think it's about time that you, you know, you get yourself, get yourself a nice car. And, um, and you know, I immediately asked the Porsche, you know, my, my brother had one when he was a lot younger and I always liked it. And then I started looking at the, the types and then I saw the, the Cayman, saw the old one, I saw the 718 and I thought, well, you know, I really like, aesthetically, I, I like the 718. Yeah. And then um, I started looking at 718s. Originally went to a, two, a flat four, a two litre. Um, it wasn't really my cup of tea. Then I uh, had a look at the, then I had a look at the uh, the GTS. I liked it. It was a, a Cayman S. 
but it just yeah, I kept coming back to the 718 GTS and that's that's really what what why I found it so so you kind of kept coming back to a 718 I, I did I just kept coming back to it I even asked my friends I said you know what would you rather have a a naturally aspirated car or would you get a, a newer two you know 2.5 with a turbo yeah well my friends were, they were like if you you know get this, they were in two minds about it as well but in the end I was like well aesthetically I like the newer look you know to the 718 um, even though the naturally aspirated ones they sound amazing um, yeah. but I think this is you know and I took it as a sign as well when you when you actually found this car for me yeah. um, I was really happy. Thank you. I'm, I'm really, really pleased. When you said to me you're looking for like sort of a black on black, sort of like a black pack. Yeah. I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. What we've got, and it was at such a good value. I mean, just to kind of put it out there. I'm, I mean, I don't. I hope you don't mind me no, sharing that. Uh, but I mean, it, this has done fifty-three thousand miles. Yeah. Okay. One might argue slightly high mileage for. A, a Porsche, six years old, but you do what five thousand miles at best, probably a year. Wait, not even that. You know, probably um, about three. I'd, for me, it's just taking it out occasionally. Probably go to the gym in it, come back, you know, go do my shopping, and then that's it. Really for me. Yeah. With with all the prep work uh, included, forty one thousand pounds. Yeah. That's you know two new tires at the back. Ooh, there were two mil which is you did the smart thing to want to replace them and of course the service that was done and then and the then, car set isn't it for so i mean for me that's you know it's it's hassle free now yeah it is hassle free absolutely if you ever need any advice you ever need to bring it down for servicing i could have all the parts ready if your brother is coming down yeah and i could give him a car to run down to london in and perfect. leave it with me perfect for a couple of hours That'd so when he's great. headed back and I know it might be a bit of a detour for him. No, no, he, he loves coming down here anyway. Yeah. Um, but no, I would, I would uh, really like to come back, especially in this. Um, the people said it might be, feel a bit uncomfortable. I feel really comfortable in this car. We can make it a bit uncomfortable with the, the PASM. All right, yeah. yeah. So if, if, if you press that, I'll let you do it. And that stiff, it stiffens the damper. Oh yeah, yeah. You feel it straight away, can't you? <laughs> Immediate, isn't it? Yeah. Hey. So the seven one eight, you you're kind of looking forward to it from from yeah. an aesthetic point of view. You're like, that's what I want. That's what I like. Yeah. It looks the, the the design's a little bit uh, smoother and less chunkier yeah. than the old one. Um, you know, I can keep it for a little bit longer as well. You know, I don't think it looks dated. Yeah. It looks like quite a modern car. So. Yes, I mean, if you could keep it, do another 10, 15,000 miles in it. This is it. Yeah. And trust me, at the 41,000 pounds you paid for it, it would still be worth that in two, three years time. You know, Sometimes it doesn't make any sense to me how the 718 came in S's yeah. are selling for 45 grand yeah for 40 you know for 43 grand I'm like how okay. why are these people not looking at GTS yeah um, you know I, I find it very bizarre and I, uh, you know sometimes I see a person spending 45 grand on a 718 KMS and if I, I, and I remember thinking to myself but if you stretch by three grand and obviously the the, the values of the, on them have slightly dropped I'll, I'll be honest with you but not to, not to like a huge degree. Whereas if you actually look at a four year old 981 GTS, they're going for 40, 41, 44 grand. You know, that's the kind of prices that older generations are selling for. Yeah, I, yeah, no cost. Yeah. So th th these are never going to, you know, fall below that anyway. And uh, you can park it right here. Pack it here. And then sort of like the parking procedure, the best way to put it is put it in neutral, just like this forward in neutral, and just 
press the handbrake. Do you press it down? Yeah, no, press it, yeah. Just right. And now you put it in parked. Oh, now you put it in yeah. park, right, and perfect. Then, yeah, if you take your foot off the um, brake, yeah, yeah, you're absolutely fine. Normally, this is the correct procedure of actually putting in park. So is this the, the, yeah. the way to do it? Correct. Right. You can leave it running. Let me get in the Jeep. Right, perfect. That way, there's no point. That way, it's actually kind of good for the turbos, for the car to idle, because it just allows the turbos to cool down. Right. So if you ever come from, um, like a spirited drive, yeah. let it idle for 30 seconds before you turn it off. Right. Yeah. Perfect. Okay.